I'm Mike from St. Thomas Economic Development here on the Yarmouth Yard site with a very special update. Okay, we are here at the northeast side of the Yarmouth Yards Industrial Park, and I'm joined by a very special guest. Burkhart, tell us who you are, and more importantly, tell us who you work for. Well, I'm uh, Burkhardt, Burkhardt Straube. I am a CEO of Vianode, and Vianode is a Norwegian uh, manufacturer of graphite materials. And so graphite, is this like in pencils, or what is this graphite used for? Now this graphite is being used in, in the venue of electromobility. So uh, every car has a lithium-ion battery, and the lithium-ion battery carries a lot of materials. And the largest material by weight is graphite, and that's what we are producing. Okay, and now we're not just here standing in the middle of a field uh, in St. Thomas for no reason. Um, what's going to go on here, Burkhart, in the coming weeks and months? Well, we have the ambition to build the most sustainable and, in fact, also the largest graphite plant for electromobility in North America. And we've chosen St. Thomas as our site to be. Wow. Well, thank you very much. We're happy to have you here. Um, I was in Norway not that long ago and got to see um, your first plants in Norway. What will be different about the site here in St. Thomas? Well, there will be, first of all, a lot of things will be, will be similar. So what we have in Norway is the most sustainable plant for graphite materials in the world, but it's a fairly small plant. Here we build a world-scale plant, about 10, 20, 30, 40 times the size of Norway. Uh, that's quite big. How much graphite would you be able to produce in a facility here? Well, we plan to have a multi-staged approach here in St. Thomas. We're going to start with roughly 35, uh, 40,000 tons, and we target 150,000 tons after a few phases. Well, that's very exciting. Um, I feel like I've seen Vianode's name in the news around a supply contract to someone in North America. Um, who, do, who do you guys already have signed to buy your graphite? Well, I think what's important is that today graphite comes mostly out of China. 95% of all the graphite we use is out of China. And uh, it is produced in a not so sustainable way. So what we bring to North America is resilient supply chains. We produce in North America for North America, and we do it in a much more sustainable way. And that is what also convinces the customers here in North America. And we've got a multi-billion dollar agreement with General Motors. Um, now, I don't want you to reveal any trade secrets or anything here, but what makes your graphite different from the graphite that's produced in the Chinese process? Well, we differentiate ourselves with a very innovative production technology. This technology leads to a substantially reduced CO2 footprint. So in fact, 90% less CO2 emissions compared to today's uh, production technology. It's linked to our furnace technology, enclosed furnaces, so we use less, uh, less energy, we have a higher, higher degree of, uh, of efficiency, and all of this really figures into a substantially better CO2 footprint. And again, Electromobility is so important to fight climate change. And let's turn electromobility even more sustainable by using sustainable materials. Yeah, and I think a lot of people, whether they're pro or even anti electric vehicle, would agree with that, right? Like the more sustainable it can be, the better. Um, what made you choose St. Thomas as your North American location for this investment? Well, Mike, talking to you, I guess I have to say, well, it's because of the great team here in, uh, in St. Thomas. And if, in fact, that is also part of the truth. But about a year and a half ago, we ran into challenges with the site that we had chosen. And we had to quickly find another site. So we started about a year and a half ago another site, a search process. And what was important for us was what we call shovel readiness. We don't have time to lose. So we needed a site which didn't require any cutting, any, any rock blasting. We wanted to be ready to build. And if you look at this here, it's fairly flat. This is what we call shovel readiness. So that was one important aspect. Another aspect was availability of sustainable energy, of sustainable power, and not only a little bit of it, but enough for all our phases. And that is what we found uh, here. Additionally, great workforce, great industrial tradition in this area. And of course, it's the automotive alley. So there's a lot of automotive industry here. So our partners, our customers are very close by. And last but not least, of course, there was great support. Great support from, from the province, from the prime, from Vic Fidelli, the minister. We received great support invest, uh, in Ontario, but also from the federal side, we received support. And just to close the loop, of course, local support was great. It was outstanding under the, uh, the leadership of, of your mayor, Joe, but the team here in St. Thomas was really very supportive the entire way. Yeah, well, thank you, Burkhardt. I've got some shovels in Graydon's Jeep over here. We can, uh, we can get, we'll get started uh, right away. Um, 
Um, I just want to ask, how many jobs do you think will be created through this investment in St. Thomas? Well, in the first phase, we talk about about 300 um, high-quality, well-paid uh, jobs. And of course, you have ripple effects which uh, which figure into the economy into the local economy so there will be quite a few jobs being created in the first phase of course as we as we move on that the jobs will, will increase and the the wealth we bring to the economy the business we bring to the economy will be substantial mm -hmm. yeah of course and Vinode uh, is part of a larger supply chain that's being developed in Ontario North America right now so there will be certainly lots and lots of spin-offs um, well Thanks very much for taking the time to come join us out here. Um, I think we should grab those shovels and do some digging. Uh, and I look forward to uh, many years of partnership between Vinode and the City of St. Thomas. Yeah, Thanks, Burkhart. Let's get going. Thank you, Mike. And I'm really looking forward to really get started now. Now the real work can begin. Don't forget to like our videos and... Smash that subscribe button.